live here in my driveway hopefully this live stream will produce pretty good quality because I've got my super speedy wireless router nearby but I want to show you guys these awesome bikes on this beautiful day it's in the 40s it's not quite warm enough to actually be out and riding one of these motorcycles although it would be a good day for me to ride my R1250 GS Adventure but these bikes, they're just so rowdy that you really want to bring them out when it's super nice out and warm so you can exploit all of their abilities on the filthy streets. There's an awesome video coming to the channel next week of my ZX-10R versus the Ninja H2, the world's most powerful H2, right here. Yes, indeed. And that's going to be an awesome video. Our good buddy Dawson's Creek, who weighs darn near 100 pounds less than me, uh, thought that he could jump on my ZX-10R and defeat me while riding my Ninja H2. And I'm going to let you guys just wonder what happened in that epic race until you see the video next week. Because it was darn good. We've got the classic machine. BMW H4 2013 model, still looking amazing. Beautiful ThyssenKrump carbon fiber wheels, glistening in the amazing sun. This bike is absolutely gorgeous. We've got one of my newest bikes, the 2022 Aprilia, an RSV4 factory. Uh, looking really awesome. Someone just asked, when am I getting my CBR? Honda just refuses to send CBR 1000 Triple R Fireblade SPs to Sills Motor Sales uh, because Sills is not a dedicated 100% only Honda dealership. So the bikes are out here in the United States, but I can't get my hands on one. So how much would I build the HPX? We've calculated this beautiful 2022 BMW HPX would cost you about $85,000 to reproduce. And I'm going to tell you first off, guys, whether you like it or not, the expensive paintwork on this machine is gorgeous and it's expensive. It costs. The paint costs alone, just the material costs are really high, but then you have to pay the painter for his talents and for everything that goes into a beautiful design like this. So, you know, then you have the cost of sanding down the fuel tank and then the swinging arm. And not to mention, let's start with the, the price of all the, the mods on the motorcycle, exhausts, nickel plated calipers, front and rear, underslung braking systems, full pro -tie titanium bolts on every single bolt on this bike, rear sets, levers, all of the bodywork on this motorcycle is, is full carbon fiber. There is not any plastic on this machine. This subframe, as you can see here, is carbon fiber, and it's just painted. So it is amazing. I will never sell my RSV4. This is a special bike for me because this was the very first bike that I earned through my marketing efforts. I did not pay for this motorcycle. Uh, the good folks at Aprilia and I came up with an agreement. Uh, they, uh, I produced a certain amount of videos towards this motorcycle and they gave me a clean title to the bike. So this bike will never be sold. It's a keeper for life. Absolutely the first time that that's ever happened. Usually I get some sort of discount on my BMW bikes um, and some of the other bikes but never did I get uh, an absolute clear and free bike uh, until this time. So hopefully we'll be able to do that more and more. Okay. Uh, do you donate to charity? I need a bike. Oh my gosh. I do donate to charity, but it's usually not in the form of motorcycles. But I want to show you guys everything that the winner of the HPX is going to receive with the bike. They're going to get this amazing bike. They're also going to get this full custom painted Arai Signet X helmet that was painted by Catalyst, Motor, uh, Catalyst Paintworks, the same company that painted the bike and painted the helmet. 
This is a brand new unit, never been worn. Uh, just put up a full video on this on the channel just yesterday. So they're getting that. They're also getting this awesome launch mat. And they're also getting these pit bull stands. Stands just like this. They're identical to these, but the ones that the winner will get are brand new. They're still shrouded in plastic. They've never been used. These are my personal stands. They have been used, but they're out here for demonstration purposes. And you can pull this off. You attach it here, lift this up, and now you can use the stand. And then you can um, pull this out of the way. Great question. A person was asking, what if the helmet doesn't fit? Well, obviously, guys, we couldn't, you know. So here's the deal with the helmet. This is a size large, and you can adjust, you can change the padding inside the helmet to make it either one size smaller or one size larger. So you can make that a medium or an extra large. So this could, basically this could be an, a medium, large, or extra large helmet. Okay. We obviously couldn't figure out what size the winner would wear because we don't know who that person is. And also we couldn't present the winner with a helmet after the drawing and after they won the bike because it would take too long. King David needs weeks to paint these helmets. And after the winner is selected for our build series, we move on immediately to the next build series. I don't like any what I call open-ended or open open-ended issues that I have to do because believe it or not guys, you know what's funny about these build series? you'll get winners that'll that'll request even though they've won bikes and stuff they'll still request more stuff like hey uh can you send me a set of carbon fiber wheels we had a we had a couple bikes that went out without carbon fiber wheels because they weren't available during the time of the build series and the winners were like hey can you get me a set of carbon fiber wheels like no you you won the bike the bike's done we've moved on to the next build series and um and that's that. So that's why we couldn't paint the helmet after the fact. Once this build series wraps up on March 31st, the winner is drawn and selected. Uh, we're done with this. There's no more additions going to be made to the bike. There's nothing else we're going to do. We've already started on the next build series, which is that beautiful red 2023 S1000 RR. So in addition to the stand, the stands, both, the launch mat, the custom painted helmet, they're also going to get a case, which is 12 individual items of Motul products. Uh, I'm going to give them three wash and wax spray. I'm going to give them three chain lube and three chain clean. That's nine. And then I'll give them two insect removers. That's 11. And then one of these bad boys, one of these motor washes for a total of 12 items from our longtime channel sponsor Motul. They're going to get an addition to the bike and everything else. Keep watching guys because of course I don't have these bikes out in my driveway for my health. Every single one of these motorcycles before the end of this video will be started up and you will hear cold starts. None of these bikes have been started the last couple of days so you will get a real and authentic cold start. Hopefully they will all start because none of them is, well, only the H2 has been on the battery tender. But um, before the conclusion, you will get cold starts of these machines as a treat for you watching the entire video. All right. Do we have any more questions, guys? Hmm? Where is the link to join the giveaway? It's going to be in the description, James, but it's simply patreon.com slash 650 eb P A T R E O N dot com slash 650 E. Hey, Adam Stratford, good to see you again, my buddy, my buddy from the UK. And if you can't find it that way, then you can go to my last video, which is the helmet video that's on my channel. It's the first link in all of my videos. It's quite simply the first link in all of my videos. Who do you recommend to tune an RSV4? I recommend a company here in Ohio called. Um, Oh, what is that? Turn 13 Motorsports. Uh, Chris and Jake from Turn 13 can tune that. Uh, how would the draw work? The draw works like the last 11 draws that we've done. If you want to go back and look at one of my videos, just uh, 
uh, do a search on my channel for drawing and you will see like 10 videos and they're all the same. Uh, so go ahead and check that out, please. It's a great question, but there's, there's awesome videos on, on the drawing process. Very cool videos too. How much, okay, much love from the filthy streets of Seattle. Seattle's a pretty queen, a clean place, isn't it? Yeah. What is the weight of my age too? Oh, darn, I forgot. I'll have to weigh it again, man. There's a video out there of it, but honestly, I cannot tell you what this thing weighs. And my scales are in my uh, big, my small trailer. Otherwise, I'd whip them out and weigh, weigh this thing right now. But of course, I like weighing bikes with full tanks of fuel. So, nope, not a full tank. Mustang Dane must have been riding his bike and didn't bring it back with the full tank. I'm joking. I think Dawson's Creek was the last person riding his bike, actually. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. I'll try to get some of these questions answered. What Rolex is that he has on? This is what we call the, uh, it's a Submariner. It's called the, the uh, Deep Blue Sea. Specifically, they call it the James Cameron Jeep, Deep Blue Sea, because it's named after James Cameron from the director of the Titanic. It has a 44 millimeter bezel, which is good for me because I have the huge hands. Uh, I love this, this watch a lot. Um, and it's my very first Rolex. I bought it last summer. I actually made a video going down to buy this watch, but I never produced it. It's funny. Um, Cause I didn't know how you guys would actually respond. I didn't want to come off as a show off, but I do think that a person of my age needs to have some sort of swagger for lack of any word about them. Um, and I think it's motivational. I think that anything that I've achieved in my lifetime you viewers can achieve it and a lot more because most of you are younger than me. You can start earlier. Times have changed. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why you guys could, could do much better than I've done. But um, I have a really, really cool thing coming up real soon that I'm really proud about. Um, I'm going to be speaking at a university that I used to attend. Uh, they have a class about social media influencing, and they asked me to come and speak to the students at this at this university. So that's going to be awesome. My good buddy King David is going to help me record some of that. Should be a very cool video. But those are some of the things that I enjoy doing, things that are different. I don't really like making the same sort of content over and over again, as you guys know. You know, I use my drone three, four times a year. I don't throw it up in every single video. I just like doing things different. Uh, yes, you're right, it is the Rolex Deep Blue Deep Pussy. I just mentioned that a couple seconds ago. Okay. Uh, how's the booster coming along? Great question, Walter Byers. Walter Byers, man, Walter Byers uh, is the absolute best winner that we've ever had on the new Bike Bill Series, man. This guy is amazing absolutely give you the shirt off his back really nice humble guy i mean he could totally be a dickhead if you wanted to because he has the type of job that could make him a dick i mean and he's not though he's just so down to earth i mean you would never even know that he was a, a police officer he's not one of those guys that walks around oh cop get out of my way but he's really cool man uh walter the um the boost is coming along great Steve is working on it right now. I'm going to have some updates on that real soon. And uh, and uh, so that's that. Hey, Eve, the HP4 will stay forever. Yes. HP4 is never going anywhere, guys. This is uh, 2013. This is the, the oldest bike that I've had. Yeah, because I got this before I got the, um, the 1199R. So this bike's never going anywhere. Thank you for asking, guys. Uh, I'd love to see you back on track again. Yes, Adam Stratford, I'm going back to the track. I've got some uh, help coming from a variety of expert track riders. And um, and I'm actually looking forward to it. I've got new suits from Alpine Stars to wear. A fan from South Africa. Awesome, man. I'm, I was this close to visiting South Africa this year on a press launch. Um, but it uh, conflicted with the, my family schedule, so I couldn't make it. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to visit South Africa soon because it's definitely a country I want to see. Where's the black uh, M1000? It's not here yet, my good friend. We're waiting on it. 
I'm going to email my connections at BMW this week to see if they have an update. So hopefully it'll be here. The M1000 will be here soon. And hopefully the uh, Panigale V4 will be here soon too. No more, no more mods being done to the Z. It's a great bike. Dawson's Creek rode it the other day. He loved it. I love it. The, one of the last mods we did on this thing was we added a set of Brembo Z04 brake pads to this bike. And it makes the bike stop remarkably now. Even though it only has half of its braking system up front. Uh, you can see the other side over here is missing. It stops great with those Brembo Z04 brake pads. You can get them from Moto Million if you guys want them. Thaddeus says, loves the videos. Always very motivating to see what you can accomplish. Any more plans? Yeah, yeah, I just answered that question. Yep. So no more plans for this thing. I got to take it over to Zach, the master mechanic. He's got to tidy up a few things on the bike. Uh, we recently installed this aero disc, which I think looks cool. But by doing that, the valve stem, uh, it's an angled valve stem. You guys can't see it. And it's pointing towards the um, disc. Zach's going to swap that around so I can actually adjust the air pressure. Okay. Any updates new fire blade? Yeah, they just won't send it, man. We're still waiting for them to send the fire blade SP to dealers to dealers in the United States and it's taken a long time. Miami, I'm going to be in Miami once I collect the new M1000 RR and the Panigale V4R. I have to bring them down there because our good buddy Miami Manny Moto Million is going to install my full exhaust system onto the Panigale V4R. So I'm bringing it down for that and of course for him to check out both bikes. So that's going to that's going to be nice. Do I still ride with Stunnerway? He doesn't ride very much. He's very busy. He owns his own business now also. So he's very busy working. Uh, he is welcome to come over and, and, and take one of the bikes out with me. I think he'll be doing that uh, if he has time this year. What was my top speed on the H2? Top speed on the H2 was about 208 miles an hour because of my weight. Did I, I missed the, the World Superbike Racing this weekend. I'm going to catch them, Adam on uh online because i'm very interested to see how they turned out i want to see how garrett gerloff did on his m1000 double r yes sir power moto he's down there he's down there in miami chris asks what i what did i do for a living before i did this full time um i was a uh, uh, I was worked in information technology and I had a variety of jobs throughout a 20 year career in IT. When I ended up, I was a contractor, worked for a company, went out to other businesses that did not have any IT presence and I fixed all of their problems and stuff. That job really sucked. And here we are today. All right, are you guys ready for cold starts on all of these beautiful machines? If you are ready for that, somebody tell me which bike they want to hear start first and before the cops come. I'm kidding. Cops better not come. Uh, let me see if I get any numbers and any, any responses for which bike first. RSV4 for taller riders. Uh, HB4. Okay, HB4 it is. That was the first comment I saw. So here's a cold start. On the 2013 BMW HP4, bike has... Lots and lots of miles on it. Oh, what does it say? It has 22,948 miles. And here's your cold start.
All right, guys. Next, what would you like to see? First comment wins. Let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see. RSV4. RSV4 is what they want next. This is my favorite sounding motorcycle of any one that I own. This thing is so rowdy, so amazing with this SC Project exhaust. What a fantastic motorcycle. It has low miles on it. I collected it late in the year. I think this thing has less than 2,000 miles for sure. Where's the mileage at on this thing? Oh yeah, oh, well, it actually has 2,172 miles, okay? Here we go. So you obviously know I love revving this thing. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Wish I lived out like where King David lives out in the farm area where I had absolutely no neighbors because I would rev the crap out of it. I saw a comment, somebody asked me to redline it. I may have done that if I lived out where uh, neighbors weren't a big deal. What's next guys? Let's see. Let's see the next comment on the bike you want to see cold start next. Let's see. Let's see, I haven't seen anything yet. Abe, you have tried it. I haven't tried it. Uh, H2. Two comments about the H2 being started up next, so here we go. This is the H2. For you H2 lovers, I'm going to start making a lot more content on the H2. Uh, for a couple reasons. It's a fun bike. The content always does well. Um, I'm going to... And it's just it's just awesome to ride the thing now now that it has the full suspension set up properly and uh the all of the parts are performing well it's a lot of fun to ride so this wednesday guys check back on the channel because we're going to have that video epic video of the h2 and the zx10 special surprise visit from mustang dame and on his h2 as well it's going to be in the video so you're not going to want to miss it this thing has miles on it as well I've had it since 2016, um, but I have no idea how to get into the mileage because um, every bike is different. Here we go. Maybe this is it. Trip, trip. Okay, odometer, 14,037 miles. And here's your cold start.
on the live stream. Yes, it does look fast just sitting here. Next up, guys, what would you like to hear next? We're narrowing it down. We only have two bikes left. Is that a Brox? It's a, that's a Van Diemen exhaust, which mimics the H2R exhaust. Hello from Morocco. Wow, nice. ZX10R, says Thaddeus. ZX10R. Here we go. This bike also has low miles. Uh, mileage on this one, 3,678 miles. Our good buddy 5UP Motorcycles installed that fantastic shift light pro right at the same position of where the OEM shift light used to be. It was a joint effort between him and King David. They got it installed. The beauty of this shift light pro is that it's programmable. The stock shift light stopped at, uh, you can only make it uh, activate up to 14,000 RPM. But now that the rev limit has been in increased on this one, uh, it needs to activate at 14,500 or so, and now it can do that thanks to this guy. Cold start time. <laughs> bike super fun to ride you barely know that you're riding a butchered motorcycle the only, really the only giveaway is that the suspension is a little harsh for our crazy pothole roads and stuff if you were riding this bike in dubai for example on their silky smooth roads you wouldn't even know that it's butchered because it's just it's just awesome have i ever been to la on a bike yes several times um usually for press launches if you go to my uh playlist called press launches You'll see um, a few times I've been there riding motorcycles, and I love it in L.A. It's really nice. So, funny enough, you guys requested it. Those bikes were started first. Now we're down to the last machine, our 2022 BMW S1000 RR that we've codenamed the HPX. 
And we did that for a variety of reasons. It's a fusion between the BMW HP4 that you see behind it and the BMW HP4 race. And also this is the 10th season of the new bike build series. So it was appropriate to incorporate all of that into the naming of this machine. And here we are with the HPX. The giveaway for this bike is gonna be on March 31st. On Friday, Zach the Master Mechanic will randomly select a name and that person is gonna lose their mind when they receive the email from me demanding them to call me back on my cell phone so that I can give them the news of a lifetime. They're gonna get that motorcycle, the launch mat, the front and rear pit bull stands, the beautifully hand-painted helmet, brand new Signet X Arai, and they're gonna get 12 products from our good friends at Motul off of my shelf here that I will hand deliver to that individual. I can't wait to find out who that person is, where they live, how far am I gonna be trailering on the road, Hopefully they live somewhere cool, uh, or maybe, maybe they'll live in filthy Cleveland again, and they'll stop up at Sills Motor Sales and pick the bike up from us. But we'll find out. For right now, we're gonna give this machine its cold start after I gently place this helmet on the Motul rack, where it will not be molested during this process. This bike is very low miles, 717 miles or something like that, or 727, 737. Yeah, we have not ridden this bike, and we don't plan on riding it. How much, how much the tickets for the H2? I don't know. I don't really get tickets on my bikes, you know? So my neighbors will probably love the fact that this is the last bike that we're going to be starting up today, right? So we have the beautiful racing buttons from Jet Prime. And they keep all of the features of the existing switches. You have your heated grips over there, on off modes, and your start button. Let's hear how it sounds. So someone asked, what happens if the person can't fit the helmet? If they can't fit it, well, then they can just keep it as a uh, decorative type of helmet, I suppose. They don't have to wear it. They can, uh, you know, keep it in there on their mantelpiece or someplace. But uh, unfortunately, we won't be painting any additional helmets or sending out more products or anything. Once the, the build series is over, the winner is selected, the stuff is delivered to them, we move on to the very next build series, which in this case is our 2023 beautiful red S1000RR that we are working on right now. All right. 
Oh, can I touch upon what butchered means? Yes. So butchered is what we call when you take a motorcycle such as the ZX-10 and you remove half of its front brakes as has been done here, right? So you see uh, the braking system on the right hand side has been removed. I came up with the term butchered because, you know, like a butcher does in the meat market, he hacks off things and, uh, but you know, funny thing is, like when you're a butcher, you're hacking off fat and stuff to get to prime, the prime pieces of the meat, right? So butchered is not meant to be a disrespectful term. It's just meant to say, you know, this is what you do when you remove certain parts. In this case, in my opinion, the, some of the items that were butchered from this bike made it more epic than it is actually. This bike is super light now. It's, uh, it does what it's supposed to do. It goes really, really fast in a straight line so butchering is not a bad thing. Good question. PC says the HPX is awesome, especially with the custom helmet. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. All right. It's going to be hard to beat this last bill. Yes, it is. We know that. But we're going to try. I have a great network of, of people to help me make sure that we can um, reach our goals for every build series. We have an excellent painter now. We have, obviously, a fantastic parts supplier. We have a master mechanic. We've got seat cover providers. We've got oil and polishing stuff. And we've got everything going for us right now for these build series. When am I heading down to Miami to make some contact with Manny? Uh, after I collect the Pinagale V4R and the new M1000RR Competition Edition, I will head down to Miami uh, so we're thinking maybe uh, April or May at this point. Yeah. Adam says it would be so cool to see us ride the uh, Angeles Crest Highway. I agree. I'm uh, actually trying to work on that this year. I'm actually trying to do something really cool where I can um, trailer some bikes down for my mates and they can just fly down and we can have an epic time in, in LA, in California. So we'll see how that goes. Will I ever get two strokes? No, I like the modern new bikes, the fuel injected machines. Um, I barely have time to utilize all of these bikes. I really can't get into any sort of other um, sorts of riding. I don't think I'm gonna make it down to MotoGP this year. Yeah, some things have just come up, uh, so yes. All right. Are all of these my bikes? Yes. Okay, thank you guys so much for viewing. Thank you for spending time, taking time out of your Sunday afternoon for this live stream. I greatly appreciate it. These bikes appreciate you um, watching and listening to their cold starts. And um, don't forget, the random drawing for this bike, the HPX, is going to happen on March 31st. You still have time to enter to possibly win this machine. Information how to do that is always the first link in all of my video descriptions. Thanks so much, guys. We'll catch you next time.